Tonight on Live at 5, Rockingham City Council approves an agreement between the county and municipalities, and Sam McGee holds a book signing for his new book, Cartlidge Creek. That and more are ahead on the Monday edition of Richland County's Nightly News. Live at 5 starts right now. Although a verbal commitment had already been made, the City Council for Rockingham voted unanimously on Tuesday to approve an interlocal agreement between the county and municipalities. The agreement puts to rest a year-long battle between the Richmond County government and leaders of the county's six chartered municipalities following the Board of Commissioners 2020 decision to change the allocation method for sales tax revenue from per capita to ad valorem. The resulting change led many of the municipalities to raise property taxes for the first time in years and threaten smaller towns with insolvency. Part of the agreement, the county agrees to pay $728,000 to the municipalities for the current and most recent fiscal years. The payment for fiscal 2021 was due on June 30th. Another part of the agreement required Rockingham and Hamlet to release claims regarding the county's possible breach of a previous interlocal agreement for the consolidation of the 911 center. The tales passed down by family members over the past century served as the inspiration for Sam McGee's first novel. McGee, a Charlotte attorney with Richmond County Roots, signed copies of Carlos Creek at Patton's Downtown Grill on Thursday. The narrative follows the journey of Jim Dockery from Civil War battlefields to Union prison camps and eventually back home to Richmond County. According to McGee, most of the events in the book actually happened. It's a story McGee said he's wanted to write since he was a teenager. This is McGee's second publishing venture. He co-authored Sightlines and Bloodlines, A Father, His Sons, and Our Life in College Football with his father and brother. The book, released in 2020, was about the Patriarch's 36 years on the sidelines as a collegiate football official. But if all goes according to plan, Cartlidge Creek won't be his last book, as McGee has a lot of ideas kicking around in his head, including more historical fiction and a children's book. A rainout this weekend has altered the Hamlet Post 49 baseball team's playoff schedule. Originally set to begin the Area 2 playoff tournament on Sunday, Hamlet and head coach Chip Gordon will now see their postseason run start on Monday. Hamlet, which went 3-11 during the regular season, earned the number 5 seed in the playoffs and will face number 1 seed Wilmington Post 10. The two teams will play a best of five series with the opener being played Monday at Buck Hardy Field and Legion Stadium in Wilmington. Hamlet will return home for Game 2 on Tuesday, travel back to Wilmington on Wednesday for Game 3, and if necessary, Game 4 will be played in Hamlet on Thursday. Game 5, also if necessary, will be played on Friday, but Gordon said a location is to be determined. All games will be played at 7 p.m. The dream for Paul McNeil Jr. has always been to play Division I basketball, and for the rising sophomore at Richmond Senior High School, that dream is becoming more and more of a reality each day. The 6'6", 165-pound shooting guard has spent hours in Richmond's gym this offseason, putting up thousands of shots with another goal in mind, making his family proud. Sometimes working on his craft by himself to the echo of a lone basketball inside an empty gym, or other times working out with a handful of rare teammates, McNeil is starting to climb the ladder as one of the top recruits in the state in the class of 2024. Earlier this month, McNeil received his first two Division I offers. The University of Tennessee offered him on July 8, followed by Western Carolina University a day later. It's a list that Richmond head coach Donald Pettigrew, along with several regional college scouts, expects to grow over the next couple of seasons. During an event in Winston-Salem earlier this summer, Pettigrew noted approximately 60 college coaches from across the country saw McNeil compete. He explained that McNeil has a chance to be one of the best players to come through Richmond if he keeps doing what he's doing. According to Justin Byerly, an NCAA scout based in North Carolina, programs like Arizona State, Georgetown, Indiana, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisville, NC State, and UCLA have reached out expressing interest in McNeil. 
It's also been reported that McNeil could possibly soon be on the University of North Carolina's radar, although nothing has been made official. With all of the hype surrounding his future college playing potential, McNeil remains humble and said he's only focused on what he can do now to improve. He's also making his family a top priority during the process. When we return, we've got your Live at 5 weather report. It's coming up after the break, so stay tuned. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. JC's in Rockingham has you covered for used appliances, parts, trailers, and storage. We have one of the largest selections of reconditioned washers, dryers, and refrigerators in the Sand Hills, and we offer free delivery to residents inside Richmond County. Come check out our variety of trailers for any hauling job and our storage buildings for the things you need out of the weather or house. We also carry parts and accessories for appliances, trailers, truck beds, and can order the things you need. That's JC's on South Hancock Street in Rockingham. Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. She gets her soccer skills from her mom, her sense of humor from her dad, and her drugs from her home medicine cabinet. Over half of misused medication comes from family and friends. Talk to your children about the dangers of prescription drug misuse. Secure your medication, take regular inventory to ensure nothing is missing, and properly dispose of expired or unused medication. Be aware, don't share, lock your meds. Your Live at 5 weather report is brought to you by Sunset Slush. Classic Titan Eyes located here in downtown Rockingham. And happy Monday, everybody. Have had a wonderful weekend. We saw plenty of nice weather over the weekend. We did get a little bit of a threat of a thunderstorm on Sunday. And it did come with plenty of rain at that. And we also saw a little bit of clouds uh, graying up on Saturday as well. So nothing short of dark clouds and rain over the weekend here in Richmond County in the surrounding Sand Hills region. And as we look at today, we've also seen plenty of cloudy skies. We've seen rain off and on all day, and that will continue to be the case for this evening. Six o'clock, 73 degrees, that 30% chance of showers. 10 o'clock, 70 degrees of party cloudy skies. That should all clear up uh, after six o'clock. And then sunset at 8.31 p.m. with a waxing crescent moon phase out tonight as well. Now, looking at the weather map for tomorrow, we'll be seeing plenty of thunderstorms returning again for the Sand Hills region. Cumberland County, a high of 79, a low of 71. Hope County, a high of 90, excuse me, high of 79, with a low of 70. Robeson County, a high of 81, low of 71. We are seeing temperatures cooling off just a little bit uh, for tomorrow. Scotland County, a high of 80, a low of 70, with more, a high of 78, and a low of 69. Here in Richmond County, a high of 77, a low of 68, with Marble seeing a high of 79 and a low of 70, followed by Anson with a high of 76 and a low of 68. And those chances of rain tomorrow, about a 70% chance throughout the entire region. Tuesday, a high of 77, low of 66 here, 68, excuse me, on the seven day forecast here. Then on Wednesday, a high of 86 and a low of 70 with a 4% chance. And those chances will continue to drop off throughout Thursday and Friday with Thursday seeing a 30% chance, high of 90, low of 70. About the same temperatures for Friday, high of 90, low of 71. And then on Saturday, a 4% chance carries over with a high of 89 and a low of 71. Now we got two more days of high of 89 and a low of 71 for Sunday and Monday. 
and Sunday we'll be seeing a 30% chance of rain with Monday a 4% chance. So uh, the, temp the chances will drop off uh, throughout the week. Uh, we are looking at just a 7% chance at the maximum, that is tomorrow. And then later on, it'll be no, nothing higher than a 4% chance. Of course, that can change as we can move throughout the week. But as of right now, we're looking to see those chances pretty low. So that's going to do up your Live at 5 weather report. And for tonight's edition of Live at 5, for the latest news, sports, and events happening in Richmond County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or you can download the free R app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Richmond County.